What's up guys, Alec here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can schedule content from within Instagram's Creator Studio. So before we used to be able to schedule content from third party apps such as Later and Hootsuite straight to our Instagram, but now Facebook have created a dedicated space for Instagram users, which allow them to look at the analytics insights and schedule content straight from the Instagram Creator Studio. Now, due to the fact that Instagram is created by Facebook, the Instagram Creator Studio is in the same space as the Facebook Creator Studio. So this is how you access it. So what you want to do is basically go to your Facebook page and I find that the easiest way to find it is literally just to type Creator Studio in the Facebook search bar and then it should be the first search result and then you click on that. Now I think that's the easiest way to find it. If you know a different way to find the Creator Studio do let me know in the comment section down below but, but now I've just favorited it to my Google taskbar so I can just click on that and it'll take me to the Creator Studio instantly. But now that you know how to access the Creator Studio, let me show you around a little bit. So when you get to the Creator Studio, it's basically gonna give you this like welcome tour. So you just wanna gonna click on get started. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that you're actually in the Facebook Creator Studio. So when you just click next and accept all the little pop-ups that shows you around the Facebook Creator Studio, you'll notice at the top that there's a little pop-up that says you can now connect your Instagram account. And next to that is the Instagram logo. So you just wanna click on the Instagram logo and you're taken to the Creator Studio for Instagram. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do obviously is just click on connect your account. Now it gives you a bunch of details saying it's gonna need this info, what's gonna happen, the preferences, all that. You just wanna click on okay. Um, and then once you've clicked on OK, you're going to have to log into your Instagram account. And this is going to be the Instagram account that you want to connect to the Creator Studio. Now, I do want to mention that to use the Creator Studio, you have to be either a business account or a creator account. Uh, and to do so, you need to connect a Facebook page to your account. If you're a personal account, you can easily switch to one of these accounts and connect a Facebook page to your account. Um, straight from within the Instagram app, it's actually pretty straightforward. But to do so, yeah, you have to connect a page to your Instagram account. So now that I've connected my Instagram account to the Creator Studio, you can now see all of my latest content. At the top we have first of all the video tab where it shows me all of my videos that I've posted to my Instagram and every time on the right you can see the amount of likes and comments. Then we have the photo so I can see all the photos. Then we have the carousel tab, so I can see all the carousel posts that I've put up. Then we have the stories, and obviously none of my stories have likes or comments. And then all the way on the right, we have the IGTV tab. Um, and this is the IGTV channel, and I've only posted one video to there, as you can see. So now on the left sidebar, you've got the insights. And if we click on insights, you then choose for which account you want to have insights for. So here you can actually see the actions taken on your account. You can see the website visits, the profile views, the emails. Then we can also see the accounts reached and then the amount of impressions we've been getting from the last week. So this is just like um, if you were in your insights within the app. This is really useful because if you're working on like insight and analytic reports, uh, working with a Google Drive tab and like an Excel spreadsheet and then the Create Studio, you can easily flip between the two. A lot better than just getting your phone out. Then we have the audience tab um, where we can see everything about our audience, like what time of the day they're connected, where they're from, the gender, their age, the exact towns or where, where most of my follower base is from, like what town, what country. Um, so again, this is really useful just as if you were in the Instagram app. And then finally in the sidebar, we've got the Instagram accounts. Um, and this is where you can see what accounts you have, their followings, and then you can add an Instagram account. So for this video, I'm gonna add um, an Instagram account. So you just wanna click on add Instagram account at the top right. And then again, it takes you through the whole login process and you just wanna enter the credentials for the account that you, you want to add to the Creator Studio. So now that I've shown you around the Instagram Creator Studio, I'm now gonna show you how to schedule content from the Creator Studio straight to your Instagram profile. So I've just added the My Bedrooms Goal account and now I'm gonna click on the Create Post button at the top and it's gonna give me the choice to either post to my Instagram feed or my IGTV channel. So I'm gonna to choose to post to my feed and then I'm gonna select the My Bedroom Goals account which I literally just connected now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is choose a file to upload. So I'm gonna upload a file so I just pick Upload from file. I'm going to go to my downloads and select the content I want to post. So once I've opened that up, I can then see it and then I'm going to write the caption. Now you guys write whatever you want. I'm just going to paste something that I already copied out earlier. 
Um, and what I love about this is that you can see the remaining characters, the amount of mentions and hashtags in the description that you've just written out. You then have the option to also post it to your Facebook page and then to add a location. I'm not going to do that, however, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then to publish it, I don't want to publish it right now, so I'm going to click on the little arrow which is next to the publish button and then you click schedule. And this is where you can change the date and time to when you want to schedule it. Now, this has to be anywhere between, I think, 10 minutes and 30 days. Uh, I could be wrong. But actually, it's not 30 days, it's six months. So you can schedule content up to six months, which is insane and really useful if you think about it. Now, I've never gone so far as to schedule content for six months, but I've definitely scheduled content for 30 days. can be very useful. So I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do this in Creator Studio because before I used Hootsuite. So yeah, I'm choosing the date and time that I want to post it. So once I've chosen the date and time, I just hit schedule and then that is literally it. It says my post is being scheduled. And then if I go to my content library, I can actually see that my post is there waiting to be posted because it's got the little green circle, the empty green circle around it and it says scheduled. So that is how you schedule content in the Instagram Creator Studio. So if you're managing multiple pages or creating a lot of content and you just want to get the work done for the week or the month even, using Instagram Creator Studio is going to be really helpful. I'm actually going to put the link to it in the description. So if you're interested in using it, just click that. In case you are curious, it is completely free because it's a Facebook app. And yeah, that's the video for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section below. Also comment any questions that you may have. I will try and answer them as soon as possible. And again, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. Everything just gets worse.